Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of HID Lamp Comparisons. This is going to be episode number two, and episode number two, I am going to be comparing all of my blue metal halide lamps that I've been collecting for the past three months. So, anyways, let's go ahead and see what lamps are going to be featured for this comparison video of all of my blue metal halide lamps. So we're going to start on the top and end on the bottom here. So on the on the top shelf, this is only going to be one floodlight on the top shelf. This one here is my Yushio Color Light 175 watt Probe Start Blue or 20,000K metal halide lamp. So that's the bulb. I've had this bulb since October of this year, so I've had this for well over a month. So that's nice. Make sure it's in focus there. Sorry about that. There we go. That's better. The next bulb that I'm going to be featuring is my custom Sea Life 175 watt Probe Start Blue or 10,000K metal halide lamp. I consider it blue because it gives off a nice blue color at full brightness. So that's the second bulb that's going to be featured. And the third bulb is going to be actually a little special. So I've had this bulb for well over two weeks. So this bulb here is my Plus Right Probe Start Blue or 20,000K metal halide lamp. I meant I forgot to say that it's a 400 watt bulb. So this one here, I meant to say this is a plus rate, 400 watt probe start blue or 20,000 K metal halide lamp. So that's going to be the third bulb that's going to be featured. Now, I don't know if you can see the etch, but it says BDX on the bulb etch. So if you look, it actually says BDX. So that's actually really, that's very cool. And I really like how plus rate makes colored metal halide lamps. They do a good job with it. So. Shout out to Plus, right? So anyways, my 10,000K metal halide lamp here sometimes have a delay when it starts because the capacitor has to put in all of that voltage and then it has to strike the arc tube. So anyway, I believe that is so. Anyways, sorry about those footsteps in the background. So anyways, these are all of my blue metal halide lamps that are going to be turned on for episode number two of HID lamp comparisons. And don't worry, I'm also going to put it in my HID lamp playlist for all of my HID lamp videos. So you can check those out, and I'm also going to make a new playlist as well. So let me get this to focus. Alright, that is much better. So anyways, enough of me talking, like I just said, or just now. <laughs> so anyways, enough of me talking, like I just said. Let's go ahead and turn on all of my blue metal halide lamps. Here we go.
So all of my blue metal halide lamps are at full brightness now, and as you can see, you can see every light fixture that emits blue, you can see it's lighting up my room quite nicely in BDX blue. So, so you can see the lamps up close. Here's my Yushio color light metal halide lamp here. This one's the blue one. And here down here is my custom sea light 10,000K metal halide lamp. You can see the arc is actually in a curve a little bit. I'm not sure if the burning position of this bulb is universal, it might be horizontal, but I don't know. And down here is my plus right blue BDX metal halide lamp. So all three lamps are at full brightness now. You can see the etch clearly now since it's all warmed up and very bright. So you can see this one's a little bit lighter blue compared to these two down here. So anyways, I believe that is that. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice HID lamp comparison of all of my blue BDX metal halide lamps. So as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.